Hey guys, if you haven't been following along with this rocket series, go check out the last couple videos in my channel and you can see where we tested and learned a lot about rockets. We made some electric fuses to ignite our motors and now we need to build the rocket itself. So what I've done here is I found this modular rocket system on Thingiverse that I've printed off a couple sections of. So I'm going to find my center of gravity and center of mass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a shadow rocket out of cardboard. So I'm going to show you what that means. So what we have here is our shadow rocket. So it is pretty much a piece of cardboard in the same shape of our rocket so that it doesn't have any weight distribution based off of like fins that are heavier than the nose. So we're gonna find our CG on our shadow rocket, which seems to be about right here. So in order to get a stable rocket, we need to get our center of gravity in front of our center of pressure. So we calculated the center of pressure here on our shadow model. So let's transfer this onto our actual rocket and do a swing test. So we're going to use this performer swing test to see how it performs when as it flies through the air. So that actually gave us really good data to work with. As you saw there, as we spun that, the rocket actually flew backwards. So what that means is that the center of pressure is actually in front of the center of gravity. So what we need to do is we need to adjust our rocket so that we can get our center of pressure behind the center of gravity. So just to make a point, I put this very large rocket motor in there so that the back of it was really heavy. So I'm going to switch it out with this smaller motor now, and it should work a lot better. So this is actually really cool, I think. So we actually figured out how to calculate the center of position and the center of gravity. We actually figured out how our rocket is going to perform in flight without actually launching the rocket. So as we don't know exactly where the center of mass is, we can calculate it pretty well. So I think this is really cool and we should be good to go to launch our rocket now. Okay guys, we'll go for launch in three, two, one. Wow, beautiful flight plan. Okay guys, we got a rocket in the air. We got it launched and it looks awesome. So I'm so excited. Um, we actually hydro dipped it earlier. So this is the first time I ever hydro dipped and it. It turned out pretty good, I think. So as you guys saw in the last flight, the rocket actually broke in half. So one of the tubes broke. So I actually just took that tube off and I'm gonna see how it flies when it's shorter like this. So let's give it a shot. Ready in three, two, one. So when we removed one of these sections for the second flight, we moved our center of pressure from, for example, here to up here. And if this is where our center of gravity is, then we don't have this gap anymore between the center of gravity and the center of pressure. And that gap is what makes our rocket more stable. So what we need to do to get this rocket to fly better is we either need to move our center of gravity up higher by adding more weight to the top of the rocket, or we need to move our center of pressure lower by adding more height to the rocket or adding more sections in this case. So what I'm gonna do in my case is I'm gonna add a little piece of wood here to the top and as our rocket goes up, it should balance better because there's more weight at the top. So what we could do is we could take and do our swing test with our string and that would tell us exactly if our rocket was gonna fly. So let's give this a shot and launch it. Okay guys, we'll go for launch in three, two, one. So I'm not really sure what happened there. It looks like it went up just fine and it tumbled over and went back down. So I'm gonna have to review the flight footage and after I do that, I'll try to explain this a little bit better tomorrow in tomorrow's video. So make sure you check out tomorrow's video, guys. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you get notified when I release a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Have a great day. Bye.